seven reasons why you suck in sales. This video is for those hardworking contractors who absolutely hate sales, don't like sales, or simply suck in sales. I'm not, not trying to belittle you. I was one of you guys, especially if you like to work with your hands, if you take pride in your work, usually sales is not your strongest suit. You're an order taker. You don't like to ask for sales. You don't like to push people. You feel like your job should be selling you. This video is for you. I'm gonna give you seven reasons why you suck in sales and what you can do to improve your sales game because without sales, your business will not have any success long term. You might be fine today to get by, but you have a full time job. In order to have a business, you have to fix your sales problem. Seventh reason starts right here with your phone. You are not responsive. Your sales, believe it or not, starts with your phone. I cannot tell you how many contractors have this testimony that they are successful because their competition is not picking up their phone. Don't be that guy. When they call you, when they message you, when they send you message through your website, submit a form, reply right away. The faster you reply, the more impressive you are, the easier it is gonna be to have the sale. When I call someone and they answer right away, I know they're hungry, I know they mean business, I respect and appreciate the attention that they've given me because they appreciate the business. I call them and immediately it sends me message that they wanna do business with me. Now, when you call back next day, five minutes later, it doesn't matter, you still might close the deal, but you already lost that first impression and you cannot re-enter it. So make sure you fix your phone answering game. A lot of people don't have lead problem, they have receptionist problem. Hire someone or fix it yourself, answer every single call yourself. Second reason why you suck in sales is because you're not professional. You show up in a personal vehicle, you don't dress nice. Many contractors look like a contractor. You have to dress like a salesperson. You have to dress like a person who means business. You cannot stink. You, you have to be nice, you have to present yourself well, computer, laptop, you know, be professional. When you show up, people expect that you know how to do the paperwork, how to take that order. Sales, it's not about working with your hands and impressing them that you can install put some nails in some shingles. Sales is about the paperwork, understanding financing, understanding value proposition, understanding warranties and stuff like that. That's the expectation. If you only know the trade and you don't understand the paperwork, people will judge you by that. And believe it or not, you might lose the sale just because you're not looking professional. Reason number three why you might be losing sales is you're not using expert words. You're too simple, you don't know how to measure roof, you may be relying on companies like Eagle View for reports. When people asking you, hey, you're not gonna look at it, you're kind of disregarding that attention. It's like, oh, no, I don't need it. When you don't use expert words, when you don't use terminology, you don't come off as a true expert and you might be losing to a competition who might not be as good of the tradesman as you are, but at the kitchen table, they look professionals. The reason we trust doctors because they use words we don't know. They use terminology we don't know. They educate us. They explain to us our health problems in the words that sophisticated to us, be that guy. When you come to the homeowner, impress them with your knowledge. Show them that you really, really know what's going on here. Go on the roof, talk about waste factor, talk about you know, what kind of roof uh, they have, some components, impress them with your verbiage, come off as an expert in everything you do. Show them that you know how to measure the roof, show them that you're a true expert and dominate the expertise game during that appointment. Which leads me to the fourth reason why so many people cannot sell the roofing job is very simple you are not believable. People listen to what you have to say and some people use all the right words and stuff, but 70% of roofing contractors still don't do repairs. You simply cannot identify the leak. You 
cannot repair the roof. You're not a real expert. The only job that you can sell is a full replacement. And there's so many guys in industry like that. Oh, we're going to do the job for insurance proceeds. Of course you are. Of course you can replace it. It's same thing as going to a mechanic shop, asking for oil change and hear the pitch that you need a new vehicle or you need a new transmission or you need a new engine. But most people don't need new roof. Most roofs can last few more years. You might be desperate for a sale. You might want to and rather sell $10,000 roof versus $3,000 repair. But people would rather listen and hear someone who really knows what's going on, who have their best interest in mind, not your best interest in mind. So if you only selling replacements, you will be losing sales to guys who do repairs. You have two options. Number one is start offering repairs or number two, just keep uh, targeting bigger jobs. I understand that you're in different business. There's nothing wrong with it, but do not complain that your closing rate is only 20%. And the reason number five, why so many people suck at sales, is actually the biggest of all of them, it's the lack of follow-up. It takes about seven touches to close the sale. Very few people will buy in the first appointment. So you have to learn how to follow up. And I want to introduce you to the sponsor of this video, a company called Proline. My friend John Delarier is absolutely amazing in what he does. He built this platform. He's a roofing contractor. He built a uh, platform called Proline. It's pretty much follow-up software that will connect to your CRM. They work with all big players, Job Progress, Job Nimbus, Oculinks, Zoho, Zapier, Company Cam. This is just to name the few of their uh, partners. You don't have yearly contracts. It's month to month basis. Simply put it, it's your full time employee. You create a presentation, you cre uh, create estimate, you live it with the homeowner, you leave the house and Proline will follow up on your behalf via text message, email, whatever you wanted to say that will look like it's coming from you, not from the bot. It will follow up on your behalf if they're ready to make the decision. Once you give that estimate, you will not have time. It's a full-time job to follow up with all open estimates that you have. Whether you're owner operator and do everything by yourself or you have five sales guys, Proline is a perfect fit for any business plug it to your CRM and ProLine will do amazing follow-up on your behalf, helping you increase those sales. Number six, lack of confidence. So many people cannot, simply cannot get a sale because they don't believe in it. They're not confident. People feel it. People feel that you're shy. People feel that you don't want to ask for sale. That's why you want to email that estimate. That's why you want to give it to them and say, call me instead of saying, you know, here's my price. Would you like to sign a contract today? You simply don't have confidence to even ask for a sale, just like you don't have confidence at the bar to ask a girl for a number or to go out with you. My recommendation is you work on yourself. Chase excellence. Don't chase people. Don't chase customers. Chase excellence. When you become really good at something, people will feel it. You will feel it. That's the reason I recommend every sales rep. Make sure that you work out in the morning. Watch our interview with Ali from Atlanta. Ali sells $3 million a year and he starts every single day at the gym. Most sales guys who are successful have similar lifestyle. Why? Two reasons. Number one is you want to be safe on the roof because it's physically demanding job. You want to make sure that you fit if something goes wrong, if ladder breaks on you, you have strong hands, you can jump, you can lift, you can hold. But also it builds confidence. Take care of your body, take care of yourself. People will feel it about you. People feel the energy of the person entering the room if he has been in a gym before. So build that confidence, take care of yourself, have amazing hobbies in life people will feel it and it will help you sell more. And the last one on my list is very, very important is you simply don't have a reputation. You don't have online presence, you don't have reviews. Let me give you an example. Yesterday I got a haircut. 
I decided to find a new barber. I'm trying to grow my hair a little bit and I'm very picky about my hair. I do a lot of videos, so I have to look good for you guys. So I went online and I was looking for a local barber. It took me about 30 minutes to go through reviews and I found a barber named Heather. So I went to the website and I see the four names and I went to their website um, on Google um, on my business page and I uh, started reading their reviews and I was looking for the name one of those four people who shows up more in reviews. Heather was the winner. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pick Heather and she did an amazing job, super happy with my haircut. The same with roofing. What do you think people are doing when they're about to spend $20,000 on their roof? They're doing Google search. In my company, we were asking people to mention salespeople's name. We have a guy, I remember Roche. Roche was amazing, you know, Jim Rat. People keep mentioning Roche in reviews and so many times when Roche or Levi, another guy, when they show up at appointment, people would compliment them. Hey, I've seen all the reviews. Work on your reputation. People make decisions before you even come. 70% of uh, purchases happens online before they even see you. It's amazing thing guys, do not underestimate the power of internet. It works like this. First, you see someone on a website, you see their video. Then you call them, you talk to them second time. For you, it's the first time they call you. For them, it's already second time. And then you show up. They feel like they already know you. You're a celebrity to them. If you don't think that that will help your closing rate, think twice. It absolutely will. And if you have to have 50% or more closing rate in sales, you have to do all seven points that I mentioned in this video. Comment below if this video brought any value to you. What do you think about sales? What's your closing rate? What's your secret? What did I miss? I read all my comments and try to reply to most of them. Check out my friends at ProLine and I'll see you guys in the next video.